Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the first episode of Just My Thoughts. I can see now it's going to be a lot difficult, a lot more difficult to do without having somebody here to ping off of, but I, I am up to the challenge. Alright, so I wasn't sure what I wanted to talk about, but I definitely wanted to get a first episode out. So, I'm going to give you sort of a review on what I've been up to uh, for the past year, year and a half, possibly two years. I've really been keeping track of it. Uh, I've been delving into the personality community. So, basically, um, I was noticing some internal inconsistencies and problems uh, as far as myself. I mean, I'm very introverted, so I'm always in my head anyway. And I was noticing patterns. Um, I'm trying to recall. I, the one I, I remember was I would have a hard time like kind of starting things. Um, and then once I started, I can go for a really long time. But if I had to stop and I lost momentum, I had a much more difficult time like getting that back that ball back and rolling. So basically, let me give you a review of how I got into typology. So basically, I was on YouTube. I was kind of new to YouTube at the time. Um, this had to be eight years ago or something like that. And um, I kept seeing this thing pop up like, hey, are you the rare INTJ personality type, right? So you know, that's the algorithm kept sending that to me and I, I would dismiss it at first. But as it kept coming up, kept coming up, I was like, All right, it piqued my interest. Let me let me see what this is. So I Googled it and um I read the synapses on that personality type. It sounded similar to me in a lot of ways. But I'm real skeptical of stuff like that, like I'm that guy to be like, man, somebody be like, oh, well, what sign are you? You know, are you in astrology? I'm like, man, get that, get that BS out of here. Like, there's no logic to it, you know? So I'm, I'm real skeptical of stuff like that, right? So I'm like, all right, this does sound like me, but at the same time, this could probably be... This could probably be um, anybody, but it was little things in the profile that I was like, that that little part sounds like me. Like there was this one thing they were saying about questions and um, they were like, yeah, your friends or your family's gonna be like, oh, you know, you ask a lot of questions. You ask a lot of questions. What's, the, what's with all the questions? And the only reason I really noticed that because my one friend always made a note of that. It's like, oh, he's asking one of those Lawrence questions again. Here come the Lawrence questions. You know, I, I have a a very curious nature, you know. So I do, I tend to have, ask a lot of questions. I've always been like that since, uh, since I was a little kid. I think it used to frustrate my mother, actually. Um... I don't know. I I'd, I'd imagine perhaps that frustrates anybody cuz who wants somebody to be asking them questions all the time? I don't know. But anyway, um so I I was like, "All right, profile sounds like me." I took the test. And when I took the test, there are 16 personalities and yeah, I got that exact one on the test. INTJ. So I'm like, "All right, that's interesting." So you know, it's like, all right, I looked it up, I looked around and I found 
There are several other sites that offer the test. They're, they're a version of it. And each and every time I get INTJ, right? So I'm like, all right, that's interesting. And I start like looking at personality videos and whatnot, you know, different sites. And um, I was like, all right, well, I see different people and they offer their services to type you. So I was like, I'm gonna go to one. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna mention names. I normally wouldn't bother mentioning names, but since I know nobody else sees this anyway, I'll go ahead and put names out there. So one of the guys I I was a big fan of was a guy a Sears site. He's a he himself is an INTJ. So I was like, all right, let me get typed by him because one he's an INTJ and two he this is partly uh what he does so he's very familiar with this and i get typed by him and he was like all right well basically i've come down to two types is 90 percent intj but there's this other 10 percent it could be this other type, right? And I don't, I don't even recall the uh, type, what the other type was. I do remember it ended in a P. But other than that, I don't recall what the type was. And his his complaint was, he was like, man, I, I don't see the TE. That's the extroverted thinking, right? He was like, I don't see it as much as I think I probably should. He was like, I definitely see the FI. That's introverted feeling. And he was like, that stands out very clear, but I don't see the TE. And, um, but he was like, I'm, I'm fairly certain, though, you're INTJ. So I'm like, okay. So after that, I thought about it. I thought about it. And I was like, well, 90% is not definitive. So I went to this guy, Eric Strauss, who... At that time, my only experience with him was seeing videos where he was basically just shitting on other typology sites. Like, oh, this guy got it wrong. That guy got it wrong. This other guy, he's just stupid. He don't know what he's doing anyway, right? So I'm like, all right, that is the perfect counterbalance. Like, this guy, he feels like everybody else is wrong. He feels like... um he feels like nobody else can do it how he does it. He's the only guy correct. He does not play nice with any of the other typology community. So I'm like, all right, this is a perfect guy to counterbalance this because if it's correct, he'll see it. I mean, that's his assuming that he knows what he's doing, right? So if it's correct, he'll see it and if it's incorrect, then we'll see, you know, like, so I'm like, I don't have to worry about the two kind of influencing each other. Not that I told either one that I got tight by the other, but I was like, all right, it's, it's a good balance. So I go to his, um, his channel and I get typed by him and I was very hesitant because like I said, up until that point, everything i seen was kind of like him in attack mode and if you know eric strauss and you watch his channel talking with famous people you know he's he's in somebody's ass like all the time just on him you know so i was like very hesitant going in and uh something unexpected happened I ended up liking the guy. He seems like a really nice guy. I like him. Uh, I wouldn't want to cross him. Like, I, I don't think I want to debate him. But definitely got uh, a respect for him mentally. But he seemed like a nice guy. And um, he also comes out INTJ, right? And I asked him, like, well, how did you come up with that? He was like, dude. If there was a checklist 
for being INTJ, you hit every mark on there, right? It's just very clear, very obvious, right? So I'm like, all right, cool. I uh, chatted with him, and actually, I think I did two videos on his channel. I enjoyed myself mentally. Like I said, I wasn't expecting to like the guy, but I did like the guy. So, um, as I'm still looking around the personality community, I came across this, these uh, people, um, Dave Superpowers and his wife, Shan Superpowers, right? Shannon. So, Objective Personality is the name of their, their system. And they, they try to take a more scientific approach to it because they're they're basically like hey we think there's something here we we witnessed that but we also recognize that the science the scientific community is and the personality communities as all the time because they're like hey you have to be able to prove this where are your results how are you testing this blah 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 so they want to take a more objective scientific approach to it right and um i was i was uh kind of following their site because they had a lot of good information and they break down things individually like they do talk about the overall type but they break down the functions uh, individually so you can learn more about the functions which I really like because then I was able to kind of see the individual parts and how they worked which then after doing that and kind of looking at my own actions and kind of going internally and looking at things I very much came to the conclusion that I was an INTJ right so basically to be an INTJ your function type is from the top your dominant um your dominant function is ni that's introverted intuition right that's basically creativity like in a nutshell um i mean it does other things but the main thing i can really see is is, is so much creativity creativity and energy and whatnot it's sort of like it's looking at patterns and kind of predicting the future um and that sounds bad but you would have to study introverted intuition to understand what what i mean by uh predicting the future so um also followed by that would be extroverted thinking te which is like a mode of thinking where it's looking at efficiency trying to use things as effective as possible um and it's looking at the outside world. So like where um, you might look at, oh, look at this cup. And then you can look at it and be like, all right, well, how many ways can I use this? How is this practical? Um, and I'm, I'm not giving a good example of this at all, but just trying to give you a basic rundown. Um, after TE, there's FI that's uh introverted feeling where introverted feeling seems to be more concerned with a sense of self um a lot of people would say selfish i don't agree with that but it's definitely looking at it from more of a um from more of the stance of individual so it's counter component fe looks more at the group like all right well we gotta look out for this group and it's about everybody coming together and working together which is fine there's nothing wrong with that fi is looking at it like all right well i don't mind coming together or working together however everybody's got to pull their own weight everybody you know like is looking solely at the individual and not so much at the the group so like our it's not that we don't consider other people we do consider other people but we are very in touch with our own emotions our own desires our own um our own uh morals and whatnot and a lot of times depending on whether it's masculine or feminine 
you may not budge on that. So I myself have been accused of being selfish. I actually got accused of being selfish just yesterday. And um, I would disagree with that. I would actually say that I am one of the most giving um, and caring people. But it, if you have FE, it does look like FI is being selfish. Um, so I get it. But I think it's just a matter of uh, perspective and point of view. Um, and after FI is uh, SE, which is SE is kind of the most difficult to see to me. Like it's looking at reality, like looking at external reality, basically like this is a Canada Dry ginger ale, you know. Um, now. I know you're saying like, well, everybody can see reality if you have eyes. That's true. However, some of you will probably relate to this. Have you ever looked at something and you can see like something was a hazard or a danger or uh, you just, you seem to have a better awareness in reality to other people you'd be like all right how did you see that because it just looked so obvious to me most likely that's that's se you know um like i was watching just earlier this week these people were cleaning the floor and they were mopping and they had a vacuum and the cord was like very close to the water and they just was like totally unaware of this you know and um as i was trying to point out to one but they couldn't hear me as I was calling them because I actually wasn't directly there with them I was like working where I was but I could see them and I so even from a distance I could see it and recognize it and I was trying to express that to them and uh they were a little too far away to hear me and then the court ended up getting wet and it's like well how could you not see that like you were right there you could see the water you could see the core but you somehow just missed it and most likely they had SI, not SE. The SI is introverted sensing. So, um, yeah, you get four functions in your stack, right? So just to review, INTJ is NI, TE, FI, SE. It's always counterbalanced. So if you start with an introverted function it's always followed immediately by extroverted function and vice versa if you start with an introverted function it's always started it's always followed by an extroverted function right so yeah as I looked inside I could see the parts so I'm like all right I could definitely see the NI I've seen that my whole life like most people that know me know I'm pretty artistic individual you can even see the uh, palette on the wall that I use for oil painting. Um, I've always been in the arts and whatnot. So I can see that and I can see the FI pretty clearly too. Both of those things were very clear. I'm a very introverted person and know the introverted function. So I had a, a much easier time seeing that, right? The TE, the thinking part, I could see but it was underneath the surface. Um, like, that was the one thing. Like, I could see it, but it was just barely. Uh, and it kind of looked like it was running, but it just, I couldn't access it. Like, um, it felt like if you asked me a question, I could answer your question using te like you you it just would engage in that fashion like if you ask me hey how do i do this or what's the best what's the best approach to do this i could tell you no problem but whenever i wanted to do my own plan like oh okay this is what i'm gonna do today or how am i gonna approach this it felt like i couldn't access te or i wasn't i should say i wasn't accessing te right um like I said, it was under the surface. So I could I could see that. 
looking back on myself, like, you know, throughout my life, I can see that. Like, one thing I've noticed is I've been very self-indulgent in life. Um, where I might make the choice that would give me some short-term pleasure. But in the long term, it probably wasn't the best choice. And if I was using the TE more, I would have made a different decision. But since I wasn't, I was using the FI. I was basically just going for the pleasure, you know. So, uh, where was I going with this? Oh, so there's a channel um, connected to oh, uh, oh, objective personality. This is a guy, Benjamin. Um, he runs a channel where he interviews different people talking about their functions. So, I've watched so much his channel just watching other INTJs um, talk about their life and their functions and how they work and I could relate to them a lot. Um, and I really, I, I just really dug his channel. So I was like, man, I really want to get on his channel because it, it seems like he's just interviewing regular people from the community and whatnot. And um, I, I send him like on one of his uh youtube things i left a comment and i was basically like hey i really like to get interviewed um could i do that and he was he was basically like well i have no problem interviewing you but i really only interview people that officially get typed because it it kind of it it clears up the confusion so you're not muddy in the waters of sorts which I was like, oh, okay, I understand that. I respect that. So, I wasn't even going to get typed by objective personality. But, uh, because I I'd already clearly knew my type. But since, um, since Benjamin kind of required that for his show, uh, I was like, all right, well, I'll get, I'll get tested. So this whole process took a couple of months uh, for various reasons. So um, I also forgot to mention that since getting tight, this whole process has been going on for like the last nine months or so. So uh, originally when I got tight, I was like, well, if I'm an INTJ, and those, those types are supposed to be like really intellectual types. I was like, well, all right, coming to that conclusion, I would have to be the dumbest of my type, right? The worst of my type. So I was like, all right, well, I accept that. That's fine. Um, that was like kind of comparing myself, not so much to a serious site um, who is an INTJ, um, but I was looking at Eric Strauss actually, because they're both NTs, like intuitive thinkers. So I was like, all right, well, because I didn't have the footage to review a serious site, but I had the I was on Eric's channel, so I watched that interview several times. Like, I probably watched it like eight or nine times, and it's probably like an hour maybe an hour and a half of footage you know and just repeatedly watching it and reviewing it and just sort of noting, noting the contrast between the two of us and um i was like all right so this is what an nt looks like this is what an intellectual thinker looks like um i am clearly not up to par so i had to do something about that so i really started studying um trying to get better at using the te it actually that wasn't really quite quite to go i just really started studying i was like all right well i can at least increase my intelligence you know um uh, my my knowledge base that's a better way not really intelligence but my knowledge base right um so i have been noticing it since i i had done that the TE had 
seemed like it was getting stronger, right? So it went from being under the surface to then being more accessible to me. And I was talking to a seer psych about that and he kind of agreed like to him, that's how his TE was like, it's there. We both saw it the same way. It was like, it's like a sword, like it hangs at your hip. And when you need to use it, you can pull it out, access it, do whatever you got to do and then return it to its, its sheave. Right. And that's how it felt. So it went from being under the surface to being accessible accessible as a weapon and uh, I've been noticing like I would say these last three maybe four months it felt like it elevated again to now it's just part of the mainframe right so like before it was a uh, a sword on my hip like I had to just basically reach down and use it like to access it now it feels like it's just it's just running on autopilot in my head right um so I can access it not even can't access it it's just running 24 7 so whenever somebody asks me something now I find myself like automatically picking apart their logic and stuff like that and that's not really intentional. It's just that's that's how it's running now. Um, that's pretty fascinating, actually. But that's kind of the case. So um, I'm saying I don't have to say that I got my type back from objective personality last week, right? Um, and <laughs> this is a bit of a shocker. It was not INTJ. The type was ESFP. And it's the it's the same function. So I was seeing it correctly, but I was seeing it in um in reverse. And um I emailed them and um uh, I emailed them. No, I didn't email. Him. I emailed another guy I know from the community and asked him about it. And he was like, well, you got to consider it. And um, maybe you should just review like the, the tape because you had to make a video to send them kind of like this. And he was like, maybe you should re review that. And then maybe you can see why they would type you like that. And I did review it. And then I went through and re reviewed some of my other um, stuff on YouTube. And I was shocked to find out that their typing was accurate. I am seeing it in reverse. And what I've been able to work out from that is I was seeing it in reverse because I'm a very introverted type. And um, that's why... I was seeing the introverted functions like even though I've recently been seeing TE and I really wasn't seeing SE very much it was because uh, those are extroverted functions and they're kind of working on the outside not necessarily internally so like I think there was a bit of a disconnect with that and um now that I've been looking at that, I can kind of see it. And I've been I've been working on like kind of connecting them um, this week, and I think that's been working out nicely. Um, so, yeah, so surprisingly, I'm a different type than what I originally anticipated. Um. So this is interesting. Like I've been looking at the, all the individual functions and I'm just sort of seeing like, okay, so I was thinking of these functions as me and they are me, but at the same time, they're more like pieces that make up me. Sort of like how 
you're in your body, right? And you think of yourself, or at least I think of myself as my mind. And that's true, but at the same time, that's not true because my body is me as well, right? I can move my hands with thought. Uh, I can speak. I can see visually. I can hear. And well, let's just say move my hands. That's a better example. So I can move my hands. I'm in complete control of that, right? I'm speaking. I'm in complete control of that. My eyes are open. I'm in complete control of that, okay? However, my heart is beating. I have no control over that. Um, my lungs are breathing. I have no control over that. So I'm looking at my cognitive functions on the inside of me and realizing like, oh, okay, they're somewhat functioning in the same manner. So I have control over the introverted functions because I'm very introverted. Well, I'm very introverted because I have control over the introverted functions. That might be a better way of looking at it. But the extroverted functions, even though I have some control over them i don't have complete control over them they're just kind of going to do what they do regardless and i'll give you an example right so i've been noticing since i've gotten better with te um i i noticed i was ha this would happen before right i got i get accused of like kind of being an asshole because I will say something and apparently hurt somebody's feelings and not even just like, I just won't see it at the time. Um, and I think that's the TE basically slipping out. Even when I'm trying to like be cautious and like try to make sure I'm not hurting somebody's feelings, it still kind of comes out harsh. And, um, but when I'm really not paying attention, it just comes out. So like, picture like you're in a you're in a have you ever seen star trek and you're on the bridge and then all of a sudden you're flying and then all of a sudden you see like another craft in space and you're like all right hope stop raise the shields um let's let's wait and see what they're going to do you know all right you stand there you're looking at the ship and then all of a sudden a plasma torpedo comes out and hits the ship. And you're like, who the fuck sent out the plasma torpedo? I did not give the order to send out the plasma torpedo, right? That's how my extroverted functions come out sometimes. Like, in my head, I'm thinking, all right, I'll wait and see, you know, what they're going to say or something. But something will just come out of me. Like, Oh, well, why would you do that dumb shit? Like, and it was just like, oh, God, why did I fucking say that? And I'm sure everybody can relate to that part. Like, you you say something and be like, I didn't mean to say that. Or possibly that came out more rough than what I thought it was going to come out. And that's most likely an extroverted function, right? So, yeah, I've been noticing that. Um, even though I got a better control over the extroverted functions... I don't have complete control over them. I don't know if I'll ever truly be able to have that over on them, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's kind of that's kind of I guess my type growth at the moment. Um, that's where I am as far as that. Uh, So, yeah, uh, I guess that's a good place to end, you know, just I'm I'm kind of going through things with this new person I have of these type and figuring out stuff. And it's been interesting along the way, along the journey. And I'm sure all of the three people that actually see this video will be like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but hey. Um, so this is the first episode of Just My Thoughts. Um, I will see you again soon. Until then.
Peace.